Alright, so what's going on, mod viewers? And me, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And if you couldn't tell by the title and the thumbnail already, Cubecroft Bedrock has just had a massive lobby update. So I'm going to kind of go, like, not go into too much depth, but I am going to talk about the um, lobby show it off a little bit and then we might play a game or two of survival games depending on how long the video is so um you can see here that the cubecraft games is it's actually changed it doesn't look too much different but it has it just looks so clean they've made a lot of changes to it obviously uh, there's still a lot more changes they are going to be making um they're just doing it one by one like there's new uh, there's a new dev team working on the hacks so um like the um hacks client so they're sorting that out obviously they're sorting out the lobby they're gonna be adding new game modes new packs that people can buy and and it just it looks so good so we got the cube games here and and this is what they've been hinting at for weeks the egg wars uh, sky wars um and mine aware and survival games and you can just see like the pictures i wish i could fly i wish i had youtube ranks like, i'm pretty sure youtubers can fly in a little bit um i wish i could fly but like you can kind of see it there that like the logos or like the titles for each game mode are just so clean and obviously i'm going to talk about more on this because you don't just go straight into a game anymore it's, it's a lot like cleaner than it was um but it's, it's just amazing so um this is actually right now it's uh 2 p.m and uh, this video will be coming out at 7:45 p.m. And I, I'm not sure if a video is going to come out before this, but I have looked on YouTube and I can't actually find anyone talking about this. So this is going to be kind of a quick little breakdown because most of you who watch my content play Cubecraft, anyways. So this is just going to be kind of letting you guys know that there is a lot of updates. Not many people know about this. And then if you if this video gets about 30 likes, which my gameplay videos don't normally do, if this gets 30 likes, um, then I will make a whole video going more into depth of what each lobby means. Obviously, I have to do my research, so it won't be out for a little while, and I have a video videos that are planned so it won't be out for a little while uh, but I will do my research on what of these new lobbies mean so anyways um, thank you to Slinky New for this next piece of information his link will be in the description below um, he kind of he, he kind of updates me when there's um, new things on Cubecraft because uh, I'm not always active um, but as you can see here there's four game modes and there's two coming soon game modes so one of the coming soon game modes I didn't know which one is the seasonal game mode so I made a video a little while back on why the Halloween game mode wasn't too good and then I avoided making a video on the Christmas game mode um, but the, this coming soon game mode is literally just for the seasonal game modes so whenever there's like a new season like Easter um, uh, uh, summer if there is one for summer um, and then like uh, Christmas and um halloween there is a coming soon game mode for that and then he didn't actually provide me this next piece of information this was just um on the bedrock discord the other coming soon game mode um is possible to be the new sky block that they're working on it's on java edition it's been there for a while uh, but i think they're just testing on that and then they're going to release it on bedrock but i guess we will see for that so i'm not i'm not gonna have a look around uh, the actual lobby here because um because it, it's getting, it looks pretty much the exact same as usual, but I kind of want to go into the new lobbies, which, ooh. So, Minerware. Normally, when you walk into Minerware, it'll take you straight into a game of Minerware. But no, you get taken into a Minerware lobby now. I know, you can see there's a bunch of people in the lobby here. Some of them might even be recording a video. You see the epic Minerware logo, and then the game of Minerware. And then we have two iron bars each side. There is possible ideas that this could be because of the new Minerware game modes, but I highly doubt they're going to do duos and squads for Minerware. Um, there's, there's someone flying in the lobby. Sick. Um, <clears throat> I, I very highly doubt that they're going to do a duos and squads for Minerware, but they may. And there's also parkour. Uh, I'm not going to do the parkour in this video because I don't want the video to be too long. I want it to be decently long, but not stupidly long. So if you want to see me do a video of doing all the lobby parkour, then let me know down below and I can do that for you. Um, like I said, if the, you know, if this video gets 30 likes, I'll do one for parkour and one for it, the lobby broke down and explained. So yeah, so I'm, I, like I said, I'm just showing it off a little bit. I'm not going to run around and um, show all of it. Uh, but you can see mine away here is looking very, very good. So we want to go back to the main lobby now. So we just go through this ender portal. And we're back into the main lobby. So I'm actually a massive fan of the Sky Wars one. Um, there's quite a few hackers in this lobby. I'm actually a massive fan of Sky Wars one because it just it looks so clean. Um, like I said, I'm not exactly too sure what this is meant to mean, um, but it just looks so good. You can see that there's actually the Sky Wars solo, the teams of two, teams of four, uh, Mega and Chaos. So I'm going to quickly go into game here. I will back out. 
But you can see on the right hand side there it says Team Sky Wars, the map, the players and the, and the IP. Uh, which if you don't have it on your Bedrock Edition definitely go check it out. But when you back out it actually takes you back into the Sky Wars lobby. So you can literally just run and choose which game mode you want to play. The, the picture so cool and, and it, the, the map, like the lobby in general is so good. Like um, I'm not sure if this is true but I, I believe it's true. Um, this was all hand built like there was no commands like world edit or anything this was literally hand built by all the devs so if this is hand built by the build team they've they've done a crazy job like they've been working on this for months that's why i always say whenever i make videos about kubecraft that's why i say i'm not hating on kubecraft because they are working on it like right now there's a lot of hackers because of the new update it's got a lot of players so there are a lot of hackers online right now but the dev team is working to get rid of all the hackers so like i said there's literally that's why i haven't really picked up on them in this video i know i mentioned it there but it's just to address it that's why i haven't really picked up on it too much this video because like they're working on it so you can't hate them for it it's like the new lobby everyone wants the new lobby but they were working on it for months so it's just it, you just gotta be patient um but yeah so the egg wars one it's actually one of my favorite ones because it's got like the villager the pickaxe the eggs it's really cool and this is the only lobby that i've actually done the parkour on because oh my god look at that it's just a massive egg inside a like uh, what's that thing in rome i forgot the name of it like inside the like battle thing i guess it looks like a little ender dragon egg as well and um the parkour for this one is actually pretty easy as well. It's the only one I've tried. Um, and I made it to the top. And when I got to the top, there was actually two hackers who just flew up to me and started punching me with Killora. So it's like, nice. Um, but, but like, yeah, this is, def this is like, I, I can't even say which one's my favourite lobby because they're all... They're all so clean and so nice and like they put so much effort into it. But like I said, um, I am going to see if I can... Oh, here we go, actually. I can get a better view on this. There we go. You can kind of you can kind of see it better there with the diamonds and stuff. Uh, but I am... Um, I am going to see if I can talk to the admins to get them to tell me like what all of these means, like the meanings behind them. Um, or if anyone knows, you can comment it down below and I will definitely make a video on this. Even, and maybe even if I don't get 30 likes, I might make a video on it. So of course I had to save the best one till last. I mean like, why wouldn't I save the best one till last? Um, it is survival games. And see, the thing about this lobby is, it's, it's simple. Like this, this one is very simple because it, I think it's a castle. I think I think that was the picture. It's like it's like a castle. It's very simple, but it's like survival games. If you get what I mean, like it's it's just so clean. It's like it's like a, oh, it's, it's a castle in ruins. I'm pretty sure. Um, but but the way it looks is just so good. I'm pretty sure this is actually from Cube Craft Parkour. I think this might be the same kind of design design from uh, my Cube Parkour series, the castle one. If you've watched that. Um, but the design behind this is just so clean, it's so good, and, and you can see they've put so much effort into it. Um, a Slinky, once again, like I said, he's in the description below. He was the one who told me that there may be a new uh, winning pack for survival games as well. You know, I, I've been kind of, I've been saying it in a lot of videos about um, wanting there to be like a win pack or maybe a compass kit and stuff. And it looks like they are possibly, finally going to be updating survival games as you can see by the two bars here it's hints that they may be bringing out duos and squads in the near future and you can see there's actually a compass on there and um, there's a chicken um, I know the compass doesn't really mean anything but maybe there might be a new compass kit and uh, since we've got some time I think you know what we might actually have a one or two games of survival games so and then I can show you how it looks in game as well because like I said it's, it's a lot cleaner the game is a lot cleaner now and it's just a lot better in my opinion so this next part I've had to voice over because the game audio decided to mess up. You can see on the right hand side there the map is tropical and the players is 16. And it shows what map it is and the player. This gives hint to a possible map vote coming out. Um, but yeah, so now on the right you can see it actually says solo SG. Uh, this is maybe hinting to... Oh, someone's decided to ask for the team. Nice. Um, this is possibly hinting at um, duo and squads because why would it say solo SG? Why would it not just say survival games on its own? Um... But yeah, I can't actually really remember what I said in this, but listening to it and talking over it is really weird. At this point, I get confused as to why it says um, no effects. I thought it was like a fake regeneration potion to scare people, um, but it just turned out in the end it was my texture pack. Uh, this person was hacking and nearly actually killed me there, but I won the game anyways. Um, but in this, I kind of just talk about how like the Cubecraft has just had a very nice update. It's like, it's, it's very clean. It's like they're working on the hackers. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of winging this as well because I, I'm not exactly too sure what I said, um, but like I'm talking over it because the game audio and the sound was just not clean together. It just wasn't nice. Um, I'm pretty sure I just play this and talk about the game. Actually, I completely forget what I'm um, 
what like the thought of the video so i guess me talking over it here actually kind of helps me talk about the video more um but yeah so so the update is very nice obviously there's the um, lobby update they've done uh, now there's the game update with the leader uh, with the scoreboard on the side you can actually see at the bottom there it says my kills and the timer and now on the right it says the players left this is a lot cleaner than they had it before with the players and the kills at the bottom and then the timer above it um, i prefer this a lot more myself um, obviously it says the IP so that people don't have to um, so what was that? I, I don't have to add the IPs at the bottom in the description of my video because I don't really anyways um, so it's kind of smart of Cubecraft to add this so that when creators like me make videos on it the IP is always there unless I decide to cover it up which is which would just be stupid and unfair if I did so so I don't understand why I do that um, but yeah so uh, you can see I'm just changing the armor here um, there's also a bunch of new updates like I said I'm going to go over it more now because I'm commentating over it so it's a lot easier there are a bunch of new updates that are meant to be coming out we've got the um, Cubecraft uh, sorry we've got the Cubecraft survival games like I said the possible new game modes minor where's looking like it might have a new game mode and there's a new game mode in general coming out possibly like I said the skyblock hopefully it comes out we got the coming soon for the seasonal games which is pretty cool it's nice that they have their own little like coming soon part for that um, we've also got the um, we've also got the new packs coming out. There might be a new Skywars pack, might be a new Egg Wars pack. Um, I've made a lot of videos on possibly new kits, like I made the um, Hunter kit. There's a lot of recommendations on the Cubecraft forums, like um, you, you can go and check out. The forums has actually had a massive update as well, which is pretty cool. So you can go and check that one out as well. Um, but there are a bunch of new updates that are meant to be coming out on Cube. Um, so like they they are really working hard this is why I never like this is why cube is one of my favorite servers because like the hive yeah they they thingy it but they like it's weird they kind of rush it a bit like the new sky wars game is pretty fun but it does seem pretty rushed whereas um whereas like cubecraft they have worked months on this lobby so i mean they've they, they knew their hats client wasn't the best youtubers like me players on on cube made like have I've, I've, like made it clear that the hack needs to stop that they can't just like let the hacker stay so they've been working hard to get new devs to work on on the um the anti-cheat that's the word for it i've been looking for the word for ages they've like got new people to work on the anti-cheat um they've got like like and then I, the, the server is just getting popular you could see it range between 12 and, and 13 thousand people if they carry on upgrading the server if they add teams of two and squads if they add squads to survival games no other server has survival game squads so this will be the first for cubecraft if they do decide to add this in if they add duos it's going to get a lot better because people are going to make it on the leaderboards it's going to get a lot more busy if they add packs for um, survival games people are going to buy it people are going to play survival games more like barely anyone plays survival games for the amount people play sky wars and squads so the fact that cubecraft are um actually working hard in order to upgrade their server and and it, like they've spent months and they've they've hinted at it. They've like they've just done everything in their power to make the server better. And this is why I never fault Cubecraft. Whenever I make videos saying, "Oh, Cubecraft needs a com uh, hunter kit," at um, uh, why why Cubecraft has made an update and it's a massive mistake. Whenever I make videos like these, these I never hate videos. It's just me expressing my opinion. And like it's like it's like if you left a report on the forum. So if you left an idea on the forums, you're not making hate towards the server. Server, sorry, you're just leaving your opinion. And and like I I can't fault Cubecraft in any way for this because they are listening to the fan base. They are listening to the players who play on their server, and they are trying to do something about it, which is like very good um so i'm just going to talk about this game now, now as if i'm actually playing it because i do want to show this game off because it was a pretty good game i got targeted pretty much the whole game uh, but you can see i kind of start off strong here i get a few little kills um and then and then and then it looks like i'm teaming there but i wasn't but i decide to go and chase this guy down and i i, I do end up getting a kill i kill him about now yeah okay there we go and i, and I loot but someone starts chasing me okay and this is where it gets interesting because I would cut the video, but I kind of just want to express like, like I made a video. Oh, that's it. I made a video ages ago. Sorry, that's the other video I was thinking of of why the top 50 needs slash Nick. And I'm pretty sure Cubecraft had seen it, and I think they're considering it. But the thing is, they have to like they have to go through all the possibilities. Like, okay, positive, 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 negative, negative, and like 
I know I used to run a server and it wasn't a massive server, but it was still a server. Um, but like you still have to look at all the possibilities. But this guy, he tails me forever, okay? This is what I mean by we need slash Nick. I'm not sure if this is because he knows me from YouTube. I know I'm not a massive YouTuber, but we have been growing like crazy, so I am decently known on Cubecraft now. But this guy, he tails me forever. Ever he chases me, um, but he runs out of hunger as well as well as me, and that's when I get to eat my steak and um, stack up a little bit. And at this part, I go actually, I bet he's gonna run away as soon as I start hitting back. But no, he puts up a really good fight like a really good, he, like look at him, crits. He puts up a very good fight, but in the end, of course, I'm always gonna win that. I mean, <laughs> look at me, I'm, I'm in St. Orbits now. I'm joking, I'm not cocky, but like, um, but like. You can see that I got targeted like crazy there. And then when I'm trying to loot, this isn't targeting this part. Um, it does happen again, actually. I get targeted twice in one game. Like, I'm just trying to loot and I mind, I'm minding my own business. But I do get, like, I, like people just carry on coming at me. And obviously, there's nothing Cubecraft can do about that. Because it's not like they're going to have, like, a, a fight delay. Like, Hyper I, I plans did it. But that was for, like, Build HC when they were all in a really enclosed area. So it did work. But I don't think Cubecraft should add, like, where there's, like, a fight delay, if you know what I mean. Like, time to loot. Because it will just make the server bad. Um, but anyways, I go into a fight with this guy. And I, I actually play pretty well, considering their armor. The name's pretty cool as well. Um, and I do nearly die, but of course, I come out on top. Um, I, I do win this game by the way, you probably all know it, I do win this game in the end, uh, but the way I win it is very, very jammy, and I, I shouldn't have won it, um, but obviously we'll get to that part when the game is coming near an end. But yeah, I, I, it's just, it's it's so clean how it's done, it's like it shows the map on the side, so now people can actually know the map, so I guess this is kind of an idea so people can learn what maps to vote for. Like on survival games, if I only want to play that desert map, when I play solo SG, I will learn the name of that desert map, but then I can vote for it. So if they do add voting, like that's that's massive props to them because like people have been saying about it for ages. But like the fact that they're finally changing stuff and like listening to people, I know I know they've been working on this for months and I listen to people. And I'm kind of repeating myself here, but I do want to show off this game. And I don't really know what to talk about. This guy nearly kills me actually. Um, but like I know I know they've been working on this for months but the fact that they're starting to make all these updates and they're all doing it in one go it's like they've been hinting at this for the past week they've released it um, with all these like new builds they, they're hinting at other stuff like obviously people on discord have been giving me information about possible other stuff that they're going to release obviously I'm not going to mention it in the video because it's not confirmed like but like the like, earlier when I said about the hints etc they are they are hints that are in the game and are shown so it is pretty um, clear that there could be a possible thing, but yeah, this is this is an, another example of me getting targeted. I literally loop past someone and I try to get him to hit them, but he just carries on going for me, and it it really doesn't work out for him because um, I try to eat and I mess up. But this other person comes in and starts hitting them, and this is where the jammy wing comes in because I said it the other day when I was playing. I, said, I posted on Discord. I said I really hate janitors, I really hate janitors, and people just come and clean. Um, I kind of did that, but it was, either way, it was an 8 kill game, and it was a very easy dub. Alright, so that's the only video for the video, guys. I hope you did all enjoy. If you did, don't forget to smack that like button. It's very, very appreciated. Let us know if you want to join the content on the channel, and you want to see more. Obviously, if you do want to um, see that, like, lobby breakdown, etc., if you, obviously, if you're interested in that, get this video to 30 likes, and I will see what I can do if I can get the Cubecraft staff to tell me. Um, if they're allowed, that's the thing, because they sign an NDA, when when you sign an NDA, sorry, when you help join a building team. So this will only be possible if they can actually tell me the information. If they can't, then I'll try and figure out myself and see what I can do. Um, but once, like I said, it may not be accurate. But I mean, I said at the start of the video, if I do the video, obviously, if it's like my own guess or if the staff have actually been allowed to tell me, obviously, I'll check it and I'll let you all know. Um... But obviously, if you want to join Cubecraft, if it isn't on your servers, the um, IP is on the right there. You can come and join 13,000 other players on this server, and you can enjoy the brand new update. If you're new around here, don't subscribe. It's very appreciated. You can join this ongoing, rapidly growing community, and you can join the insane army. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I upload 7:45 p.m. GMT whenever I do upload a video. So definitely, definitely do all my starts on that. I upload some quality content that I feel like you'll all enjoy. So make sure not to miss it. And comment down below what you want to see next, what you thought of the video, or any other ideas for videos you'd like to see on the channel. Let me know down below and I will consider it. But thank you all for watching. Have a great day for never watching this. The rest of this lobby hasn't even cha hasn't changed at all. Actually, no, that's new. Um, but Cubecraft has had a massive update and I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all do enjoy the new update if you do play it. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great day for never watching this. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. And... Goodbye.
all of you have to stay to the end as well, I forgot to mention, they've got a brand new logo and it's a lot better than the last one. Thank <music> you.